Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a whisk, a piece of string, some steel wool, and a nine volt battery to create some photos just like this. I've used steel wool a few times now to get some pretty epic photos, so I'm hoping tonight we can do just the same. One thing to check before you go out and use this technique though, is to make sure that it's rained a few times before you go. If you do it on ground that's too dry, sometimes the sparks from the steel wool can set fire to the leaves and we don't want that, we don't want any forest fires. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you how to set up. Firstly, I use extra fine steel wool, that's zero, zero, zero grade. Next, I break it up using my hands so that the surface area increases. This makes it easier to spark later when you add the battery. Next, I grab my whisk and on the end of the whisk I've attached a piece of string so I can spin it. I then stuff the steel wool into the end of the whisk and then grab my 9 volt battery. Using the terminals of the battery I rub it against the steel wool and it begins to spark. You can then start spinning it and as you spin it the oxygen will add to the fire and you'll get more sparks. It takes a bit of practice but you'll get it soon enough I'm sure. I'm heading out in an hour or two once it gets dark, so I'll see you in a bit. The first thing to do is set up your camera. I put my camera on a tripod and set it to f5.6 aperture. I then change the shutter speed to 10 seconds and I put the ISO to 200. You can then play around with this later on, but this is a good starting point anyway. I then set up my composition and I walk into the frame. I take my 9 volt battery and I rub it against the steel wool inside the whisk. It begins to spark and then you can start spinning it around in front of you. There are various techniques you can do but this is the simplest to start with. As you can see the sparks don't last long but make sure that all of the sparks on the floor have died out so that they don't set fire to anything. It's then time to check the photos. And here's the result. It looks great. There are various techniques you can do as well. This photo, for example, was taken using the same technique, but spinning on the spot as well at the same time. It also looks good in portrait, with the moon in as well. And finally, different composition, but same technique to create the orb effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Steel wool is great against some unique and creative photos, so I hope today's video inspired you a little bit to get out there and give it a go. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.